Honours Martyr Read for LibriVox.org by Alice Christoph The moon is full this winter night, The stars are clear though few, And every window glistens bright With leaves of frozen dew. The sweet moon through your lattice gleams, And lights your room like day, And there you pass in happy dreams The peaceful hours away while I, with effort hardly quelling the anguish in my breast, wander about the silent dwelling and cannot think of rest. The old clock in the gloomy hall ticks on from hour to hour, and every time its measured call seems lingering slow and slower. And oh, how slow that keen-eyed star has tracked the chilly grey! What, watching yet? How very far the morning lies away! Without your chamber door I stand, Love, are you slumbering still? My cold heart underneath my hand Has almost ceased to thrill. Bleak, bleak the east wind sobs and sighs, And drowns the turret bell, Whose sad note undistinguished dies. Unheard, like my farewell. Tomorrow's scorn will blight my name, and hate will trample me, will load me with a coward's shame, a traitor's perjury. False friends will launch their covered sneers, true friends will wish me dead, and I shall cause the bitterest tears that you have ever shed. The dark deeds of my outlawed race will then like virtues shine, and men will pardon their disgrace beside the guilt of mine. For who forgives the accursed crime of dastard treachery? Rebellion, in its chosen time, may freedom's champion be. Revenge may stain a righteous sword, it may be just to slay. But traitor, traitor, from that word all true breasts shrink away. Oh, I would give my heart to death to keep my honour fair. Yet I'll not give my inward faith my honour's name to spare. Not even to keep your priceless love, dare I, beloved, deceive. This treason should the future prove, then, only then, believe. I know the path I ought to go, I follow fiercely. Inquiring not what deeper woe stern duty stores for me. So foes pursue, and colder lies mistrust me every one. Let me be false in others' eyes, if faithful in my own. Ellis. This recording is in the public domain.